in this video I'm going to show you how to thread the end of a piece of steel conduit. For this job you're going to need the following equipment. A reamer to ensure all the burrs once you've cut your steel conduit are free. Some cutting compound a stock and die and of course a piece of steel conduit cut to your tutor's requirements. This is how the stock and die is made up. The stock is the handle mechanism that will aid you in twisting. The die is the teeth itself that will create the grooves and the cutting onto the steel conduit. Now I'm going to demonstrate the threading process of the steel conduit. Just place your conduit in your hand provided. Make sure it's securely locked in place. Using a bit of a paper towel to get your cutting compound, place a bit of the cutting compound over the end of the steel conduit. This just allows a bit of lubrication and makes it easier to cut and less damage to the conduit. So using your stock and die, place the protruding end onto the conduit. Now with a bit of equal pressure on both handles, start to turn slowly until you feel it's starting to bite over the edge. just feel it starting to grip. Now if you was to, wanted to measure a specific length of thread, now you would measure from the end of the stock and die, mark your measurement further up the conduit, and when that re as you're turning, as that reaches that point, you've there got, you've got your required thread. Now the stock and die is in place, we're now going to continue the threading process. We're going to turn it at 360 degrees, and then back 180. This just ensures a nice cutting process. So, full turn, back a half turn to free up the birds. Full turn, back a half turn. Once you have reached the required thread, remove the stock and die. Now obviously during that threading process it's removing parts of the steel conduit to create the thread. Now you're going to have burrs on the inside which is what your reamer is for. Place it, obviously in removing any burrs, cleans it up. Now if you've not quite got um, a flat edge from your cut or there are still a few burrs, then you can just file the end down. Okay. So that's quite simply the threading process finished. Please remember to subscribe. More videos coming soon.